I'm Dr. Arthur D. Kemp, the Hammond Doc. The Jensen V21 is the premier up driver that is used by perhaps uh, most Hammond organ enthusiasts. We love the Jensen V21. These uh, drivers were installed in the Leslie 122s, 147s, and similar Leslies back in the 1960s, and um, they are the standard of excellence when it comes to the quality of sound for the Hammond organ and Leslie speaker combination. However, many of the diaphragms in those upper drivers are now brittle and not functioning properly and so they either have to be replaced or you discard the uh, upper driver for and, and replace it with another a new upper driver. Now sometimes these diaphragms get out of adjustment and you can readjust them and they sound clean and clear and then you can continue to use them but oftentimes you cannot you can adjust them and and they will continue to to buzz and or i mean they can actually just stop working altogether but generally you can uh, often hear a buzz sound coming from a, a jensen v21 diaphragm and i want to let you hear what what the buzz sounds like and we're, I have a V21 here on the desk and I'm going to uh, adjust it to see if I can get that buzz out of it but I want you to hear what the buzz sounds like. Let's take a look at that. Now you hear a tritone there but I want you to hear the buzz underneath that. kind of like a bumblebee buzz. Now I need a clean tone without the buzz. So even though I was able to get out some of the buzz, I can still hear the buzz in there. This lets me know that this diaphragm is, uh, is shot. I can't use this anymore because I can't use this V21 in a Leslie because it will buzz at certain frequencies. In fact, let me, let me show you this. So the only thing I can do with this particular uh, V21 
is replace the diaphragm in it or use this for parts. That's it. Now what do I mean use it for parts? Well, I can use the screws. And uh, that's about it. This thing here becomes this magnet, becomes a paperweight. That's it. Alright, so I'll have to replace this V21 with a new upper driver. And um, I have plenty of those on my shelf. But um, as I get used of V21s into the shop, I have to test them to see whether or not I can use them. If I can't use them whole, I have to part them out and uh, do as I just mentioned to you, use the screws, use the plate, uh, here's the plate that goes on here. This plate can be used with, um, with another uh, new uh, driver. Um, there's, a, for example, a Dayton driver that some people are using and this plate works perfectly with that Dayton driver. Um, I have one of those. Uh, I don't like the volume level of those. I, I want the volume to be stronger in, in, in the, than it is in the Dayton driver. So I, I choose uh, other other drivers over that particular one. But you can go back and look at some of the videos that I've made even about that. And you'll see what I'm talking about. But that's it for this video. Until the next video, this is the Hammond Doc wishing for you a beautiful and wonderful day. Goodbye.